Welcome back to NPR News. I'm Lucy Mitchell. Upon the release of their latest hit single, Psycho Babble, punk band The Pisswassers have taken the British airwaves by storm with their bold takes on the political issues of the day. Here with me, I have lead singer and band mastermind Wilbur Bollocks. Thanks for coming in, Wilbur. How are you doing today? All right. All right. Would you describe your music as politically charged? No, I wouldn't. It's just speaking the truth. There's nothing political about it. Lots of people would disagree, given the status of the current lyrical content of the songs, especially given old Ronnie off your previous album and your repeated commentary on mm. former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah. Well, she's horrible, isn't she? I think she's wretched. That's pretty much it, well, isn't it? Yes. Given your history about your oh, sorry, I'm I'm speaking from a I'm speaking I'm at a payphone right now. I've heard there's some noise. Oh. Pardon me. That's not a problem at all. So mm. your opinions on former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher have been especially notable, given how sharp and incisive they are. What is your current opinion on yeah. the current Prime Minister Liz Truss? I think she's trying to do everything that Mara Thatcher was trying to do. Essentially, she's a clone because this political machine just spits out the same ideas, the same idiotic and stupid ideas over and over again and different packaging. And that's what we're trying to say. There's nothing political. It's the truth. You say there's nothing political, yet you often reference what people are perceiving as political themes. Do you or any of your band members identify with any specific political ideology or group? No. It's irrelevant. It's, in, it's, it's part of the individual. I don't care. So you wouldn't call yourself a communist or a socialist or an anarchist? I would call myself a human being. So you're trying to you're doing what everybody else does. You're trying to label us. You're trying to put in something that we're not really asking for. Nobody's really really asking for is putting labels on us. You say punk. I don't know what that means, really. I don't. I don't think any of us, you know, Teddy or Pine or your buddy, we don't know. You know. Right. It's, we, we don't want any labels because that's what the, the media has to do it has to put something in a box and you can't always do that and they say oh they're punk rock and then we go and do a ballad and then they say we're pop and then we come out with a rock song and they say, you know, we do a fast pace song and they say it's rock or something like that you know what I mean you, you don't have to label things you know how do you reconcile this apolitical stance of yours with your stances on your albums against specific political figureheads? Well, they're sort of what we're feeling at the moment we're recording or when we're writing, you know. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's there in the song. And it's in it's also it's in the past. It doesn't matter. It's relevant. Lots of people believe that punk is an inherently political genre, that the entire purpose of its existence is to bring about social change. How do you respond to people within that group accusing you of co opting their musical sound to further your personal agenda rather than a broader political one? I don't care what they think. The band doesn't care what they think. It's point. I don't do it for them. It's irrelevant. How do you feel then if your band never got another hit? I don't care. It doesn't matter. What we're saying, what look, what what we're saying is, is that you don't have to 
you don't have to, you know, always conform to whatever the, the establishment, establishment might be. And what do you define a hit as? You know, there's plenty of, of, of songs that I love that nobody's ever heard of. Or, or I should say, <clears throat> very few people have heard of. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and, but that hits home, right? That resonates with me. I would call that a hit record, right? Just because it didn't sell, you know, a lot of copies or whatever. It doesn't matter, really. Given your position on hits not being important and fame not really mattering to your band's image, what is the current success of Psychobabble and the current hype for your upcoming record? How does that affect your creative process? Well, I don't, I don't care. It's hype. It's it's a it's a part of the machine. Look, if people turn up to a show and want to see us do do our, sh- you know, want they want to buy our record, they want to buy our single, they want to buy our come see our show, you know, do all that. That's all right. That's fine. I don't care. You know, it is a profession that we've chosen. You know, the band and I, and we all like doing it. You know, we like recording and going out and playing in places and such. You know, because it's, at the end of the day, it's was about. This is about the people. That's what, if you want to take something, if you want to, I'm not giving you much here, am I, in terms of a headline, but I guess I could give you, it's about people. That's always what we're about. It's about the people who are oppressed, whatever they may be, if it's popular or not to do so. See, many people would identify this as a contradiction. You claim to be for the people, yet many of your, let's say, a political stances suggest otherwise. Specifically, your song "Britain is a shithole." You say it is, isn't it? Burn, England should die. How do you reconcile that with your belief in uh, uplifting marginalized groups? Well, how do you feel if these marginalized groups were British? Britain is not in a position to help any disaffected people. It should burn. I would like to bomb the Parliament building. It should burn, do you mean the government or the people themselves? I think the establishment that is known as Great Britain should burn, if that's specific enough for you. Um, Mr. Bollocks, are you threatening terrorism on live radio? I. It doesn't matter, does it? If someone wants to go bomb Parliament, I'll cheer them on. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Wilbur Volix. Um, Let's play some music. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, hasn't it? Good night.